for a championship. Oh, no. A play wins it for three. Turn it to the end zone. What a catch. The guy is on touchdown. Welcome here to the NJBCA North vs. South All-Star Game here at Rutgers Prep. The boys take the floor and we'll go live to the floor for the pregame introductions first for the South team. So there is the South team. I'll let you know a little bit more about them as we move forward here in this game. Now the starting lineup, or the roster, I should say, for the North team. So there you have the boys team as well on the north side. Just about set to go here from Rutgers Prep in the NJBCA North vs. South All-Star Game. I'm Kevin Connolly, joined alongside Mustafa Hooten and Mustafa. The boys have a lot to live up to from the girls game we saw a little bit earlier on today. I think I think it may live up to the hype, man. I got a tough act to follow because the girls definitely put on the show. They had a Almost over 200 points. Yeah, 116-109 uh, was the final in that girls game. North team a little bit uh, undermanned. Jackson Tyndall out injured from St. Peter's Prep, as is Elijah Gertrude. And right now on the roster but not here is Noah Barnett from Don Bosco, Mario Castro-Sanchez from Gill St. Bernard's, and Ethan Maynard from Seton Hall. So the North team a little bit undermanned here as we get set to begin this game, but they certainly have enough talent to compensate for it. South team is full. It's just Jaden Collins who will not play with an injury. We'll stay live right here for the playing of our national anthem from Rutgers Prep.
So we're just about set to go here from the New Jersey Basketball Coaches Association North-South All-Star Game. A lot of talent on both teams here today. And I'll tell you what, next season they, gotta get, they have to get a food sponsor. We need Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, <laughs> somebody up in here serving concessions. North team, maybe a little bit n names more familiar to the New Jersey basketball fans compared to the South team, but certainly should be a good one. DJ Wagner here in attendance, not playing today, but the Camden star and future Kentucky Wildcat here to support some of his teammates. The, the Seer Haskins and Cornelius Robinson from Camden are on the South team, on the North team. They will start Akeel Watson, Donovan McCoy, Tyler Tejada, Jalen Robinson, and Ray Zamlut. For the South team, starting today, you have DJ German, Caleb Mundell, Stester Mathiller, who wins the tip, but it's tapped around and controlled there by the North team. We will play 20-minute halves here in this one. That shot, no good. And it is Cornelius Robinson who pulls for three, and no good. Jay Nelly Reyes also starting as Donovan McCoy trying to throw it down early on, and Tyler Tejada will open the three ball. The Townsend State commit. Down the other end, three-pointer, no good. Akil Watson from Roselle Catholic. Arizona State commit, misses the corner three. Robinson back down the lane, and he can't get the reverse layup to go. So a tough start offensively. Here for Team South, who's in the gray, and Team North in the black, as Ray Zamlut from Caldwell hits the triple. Yeah, so the South team may have a little rust. You know, a couple of Camden players, they, they haven't played in a while. So it could be, could be affecting their game. Yeah, Camden not in the state tournament this season because of an altercation in the county final. But they're on the board. Team South is with a floater in the lane. Head coaches for today's game, it's Don DeLeo from Highstown. He's coaching the South. And it's Dion Mingo from Newark Academy coaching the North. Oh, shout out to Newark Academy up there in Livingston. Big supporter of D1 Media Pro. Floater no good from German. And then the turnaround also missed from Mathieler. Tahana in mid-range too strong. In our girls game, we typically saw substitutions every five minutes as Cornelius Robinson hits the jumper. Watson, a drive. Robinson working on McCoy. McCoy, an outstanding basketball player, but He's going to go to the next level and play football. My kind of guy. And he's a smart one, too. He's going to go to Yale. Even better. Could be a next president one day. <laughs> Tejada, too strong on the three ball. Robinson in transition. Looked like they were trying to connect on a lob there, but the pass got tipped out of bounds. Looking to set up. That's your Mathler from Notre Dame. So you know, already I see a difference between the boys and girls game. You, you saw a lot more passing, a lot more teamwork in the girls game. The boys game is a lot more one-on-one. -on -one. See what I could do, open three. Donovan McCoy hits it. On the drive, nice. Body control there by DJ German. This kid from Egg Harbor, they upset Trenton Central. Knocked him off in uh, 
playoff action. Two players from two players from Ag Harbor as Tyler Tejada with the two-hand flush. And all these rims might get a workout here in this boys game. Robinson, one-on-one. Floater was no good, but on the offensive glass, the fadeaway from Caleb Mundell. Down the other end, there's Akeel Watson. A strong finish around the rim. He's head to Arizona State. Robinson fouled on the way up as Watson reached in. Going to be shooting foul. Going to shoot two. No, I said it's going to be on the floor. Foul was on the floor. Oh. And under goes down low. Nice finish from McCoy. Trying to go up top for Tyler Tejada and watch out on that baseline. The photographers better be careful. We'll get our first substitutions of the game. Five new players aside will check in. So the North, not, not, they're not that deep. No, they're not that deep. They have two injured players. Elijah Gertrude, who's been out for the season for Hudson Catholic. Jackson Tyndall has a boot on his foot. He's on their roster from St. Peter's Prep. And then they got three players who, I don't know if they're no-shows, because they are on the roster but not playing, but... Noah Barnett, Mario Castro Sanchez, and Ethan Maynard not here on the bench for the North team as Darius Phillips misses a two-hand stuff down the other end. Three-pointer way short there from Desir Haskins. Ooh. And then another dunk missed by Jordan Summers. Bryce Stokes from Patterson Eastside. Showtime. Got it stripped and then trying to go with a windmill and just getting over the front rim was Jordan Summers. That doesn't count as Showtime. No, that was, wasn't was smooth. No. He, able, he put the ball in the basket, but it, it wasn't clean. He was better off laying that one up. How about this from the south? Look at this pressure defense. Yeah, right. Sebastian Robinson with the basketball from Roselle Catholic as he'll drop it off. Oh. And Darius Phillips 0 for 2 on dunks so far here today. You know, when I was little and practice, if you missed a dunk, the coach made you do 100 push-ups. Well, Spencer Joyner is fouled, and he'll shoot free throws. They said if Dr. J retired, no one can miss dunks. Spencer Joyner at the line. Arts High School representing Newark. Joyner, a Boston University commit. Yeah, we did a lot of Arts High School games this year. Two for two from the line goes Joyner. Driving to the basket, no good. Ball tapped around underneath. Three seconds. No call. On the third try, Haskins gets it to go. And a timeout is called by the North team. So that'll give us a chance for our first break. 13-49 to go in the first half. And a 17-14 lead for the North. 30-second timeout. You know, I'm a person too. Never know who's watching. You, ne you do never know who's watching as three-pointer on the way. And 
That goes up and over the bas backboard, out of bounds. And just saying during that break, looks like this game going to be played a little bit more legit to, an, to a real basketball game, calling timeouts and such. Well, there's a deep three-pointer. You'll still have the elements of an all-star game, and it's off the mark there by Jordan Summers. And some of these kids still looking for a home. Darius Phillips rejected inside by Summers. Joiner, try to get it back. Phillips, no, and on a third try, it's Bryce Stokes. Patterson Eastside. Champions in their own right, winning their section. And their group. Yeah. So Patterson Eastside making history, all caught on D1 Media Pro. Foul called underneath, and it results in free throws here for Team South. First one way too strong for Devontae Hudson out of Trenton Central. Unfortunately, we, get, we didn't get a chance to see Trenton Central this year. Hudson, an undecided prospect. A lot of undecided players here in this game, and that's what you were talking about, Mustafa. These undecided players trying to show out. There's a player who certainly has shown out through his career in Sebastian Robinson. And he's definitely still trying to find a home, too. Top of the arc, three-pointer. That one goes from Antoine Bridget, another Trenton Central player. Well, it, it brings a different point and a different conversation about how much basketball has changed in terms of recruiting philosophies now with the evolution of the transfer portal. See a lot of coaches building their roster through the transfer portal instead of the high school ranks. Obviously your top ranked players in every class still gonna go and play in college at their high level programs. But for those players that don't have the big stars next to their name, as there's the monster jam from Desir Haskins. Might be a depth for them, a little bit better to go to a mid-major or a D2 or a D3 school or even JUCO for a couple of years and then elevate their game and then head on to those high majors in a couple of years as there's a stuff down the other end for Donovan McCoy. Another issue you have is, uh, you know, due to COVID, a lot of kids had an extra year, so you have, you have COVID seniors. Yeah. So it, it, these next couple of years, in terms of recruiting, could be tough for high school players. Devontae Hudson, wide open down low. I mean, if I'm a college coach, I may want a grown man versus uh, a kid coming fresh out of high school who's not even built. For that level, like you have a few kids that could match the physicality of a D1 program, but a lot of times you're playing against grown men. Yeah, absolutely. Is starting to heat up is Desir Haskins. He's now got a triple. And that's division one, two, or three. Tell you what, one kid who certainly seems built for the moment is that man right there, Bryce Stokes. Seen him a couple of times this year and just love his overall game and the moxie about him. Yeah, he's deceptively athletic. Like, this kid could get up. He has a great jump shot. And, you know, we, we'll see where he's going to go. I don't think he's committed yet either. No, he is undecided. Maybe a little bit undersized. But, I mean, he certainly makes up for it with his jump shot and his, his athletic ability. He may need to prep a year, hit the weight room. He's he, he going to be all right. He, he'll find a home. But, again, like, if you're not top 100, so it's, it's going to be hard to find a home uh, on the D1 level. Haskins, three, no good. Robinson, the rebound, looking to run. He'll pull up. I'll call it a three, but it's too strong. Darius Phillips from Seton Hall Prep comes with it. Sebastian Robinson, oh, he was looking for a putback jam. Hudson driving, spinning. Oh, he got an injury. Yeah, he shaking up a bit on the play. He's still down on that baseline, certainly something you don't want to see in a game like this is Devontae Hudson still down I, I from hope Trenton he, Central on that baseline. I think he may have rolled the ankle or something. Let's hope and pray he's okay. 
Yeah, so he's still down the floor with 10.08 to go here in the first half. And you never want to say this, but an injury timeout on the floor, and we'll be back right after this. This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good. Devontae Hudson still down. Looks like might be checking an ankle or a knee down on the floor. The senior from Trenton Central. So we'll step aside for another break and be back after this. Hudson helped off the floor. He'll get checked out back in the locker room for Team South. We resume play with Team North with the basketball. And ball deflects out of bounds. Stay with the North. Three-pointer on the wing, just short from Elijah Motley out of Linden. Historic season for the Tigers. As on the other end, that shot drops in the corner. It's a three from Isaac Hester out of the Rainey School. And big shot to Linden High School coach Anthony Dreha. Always, always a show whenever they play, win or lose. Kill Watson on the drive, and it's tipped out of bounds. Gil Watson didn't pull the trigger on the three, instead looking to drive. Somehow gets a pass over there to Tejada. McCoy drives, kicks, and there's a triple from Columbia's Jalen Robinson. Head to NJIT. Told you what, seen, seen this guy a couple of times this season. As good of a guard as you can imagine. Watching him for Columbia kind of reminded me a little bit of Jalen Brunson and how he just commands things for the New York Knicks. How about that? Everything but the finish for Elijah Motley. Tejada looking to run. He's got Akil Watson with him. He'll dump it off. And Watson on the hesitation. Too tight of a window, and then it's picked off by Robinson. He'll rise for three, and he's got two triples in a row. Making his daddy proud in these streets. Into the corner. There's Josh Ingram from St. Joe's Metuchen. Outstanding season for the Falcons. Robinson feeling it too strong on the heat check. And then he collides right in. They won that section Ingram. two, right? for non-public B-South? Uh, no, they lost to Union Catholic. Oh, they lost to Union Catholic. Oh, they're non-public A-South. No, they're, yes. 
tell you, it's tough to keep in track of all these sections. Off the window for Isaac Hester. I know Rutgers Prep is non-public B style. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, as the Keel Watson. Now, now, now you got me thinking, because we did the St. Joe's Metuchen Rutgers Prep game. Yes. And the winner played Union Catholic, and that winner played St. Peter's Prep. So I think they're non-public A South. Oh um, man, I look. I'm, yeah, yeah, I, I, I told I'm, you, I'm it's, it's tough to keep track of all these things. Watson, shot in close, no good. Three on one, and taking it himself is Isaac Hester. He's had a strong game so far. But I don't think they're going to match the, uh, the numbers that the girls put up. Yeah, they certainly aren't on pace yet. That's Akil Watson, tries to help that pace out with a triple. Now it's starting to feel like a boys' all-star game a little bit more. As Ooh. Tyler Tejada drops the hammer. Knock ball goes out of bounds. Robinson off the mark on a three-pointer that time. Ball in close and DJ German on the turnaround. More subs checking in. Boys kind of doing the same thing that we saw in the girls game, about five minute segments for each player as Donovan McCoy can't hit the three ball. Up the other end and on the follow, and that'll trigger our substitutions as Isaac Hester polishes off a really strong five minute segment. Five minutes remaining here in the first half. Let's see if they can finish on a strong note. 44 to 40. Spencer Joyner uses the screen to get free. And the three was halfway down. Our Arts had a great season as well. Although they lost in the uh, county final, you know, they still a record-breaking break, record season. Arts was another one of those teams that was ineligible for the state tournament this year after an altercation earlier in the season. So their season cut a little bit short, but certainly one to be proud of as Sebastian Robinson hits the three. I'd be interested to see how they're going to uh, re rebound from that next year. And especially losing a player like Spencer Joyner, going to be tough for Profit Cates to replace him, although they do have some really good young talent on that roster. It's a long two from Joyner, no good. Crawford, kick in the corner. Jay Nelly Reyes, no. And then on the follow is Cornelius Robinson. That's a three-point game, look at that. I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard in these All-Star games and margins... I don't know, what, 15 points or so? And then you look up and you say like that, it's a three-point game. And now Team South has a chance to take or tie the game with a three, but they turn it over. Ray Zamlut from Caldwell. He'll drop it off for Stokes, who gets fouled and can't get the bucket to drop. Stokes to the line, number 15. 
Nice feed in low. Oh, the spin move and the finish off the window. McCoy getting fancy out here. Robinson has another three-pointer and a bit of a strut after it. Sebastian Robinson spent a couple of years at Elizabeth before transferring over to Roselle Catholic for his senior season. And he spent a year at Camden as well. Yeah. Well traveled around New Jersey, I'll tell you that much. Darius Phillips looking for space. Four-year starter from Seton Hall. Side step three for Joyner, and he left it short. And then a foul. <laughs> Andrew Crawford from Camden Catholic, he was mad a foul was called because he was about to lead a three-on-one break. Hey, he's trying to make the he's trying to make the gram. Yeah, he really is. I'm trying to give it some showtime. And I appreciate it. Oh, that pass. It away. Yeah, he threw it away. 215. Left to go here in this first half. 51-46. North on top. Bryce Stokes, the cross, the pull, and the shot. Nice touch. Haskins right Ooh. down the lane for the finish. Robinson. Threw it away in the corner. Let's see if the South can finish on a strong note. 90 seconds remaining here in the half. 54 48 north on top. Robinson forces one. Rebound tapped around. Stokes comes away with it. Joiner with numbers and threw it right into the body of Haskins, but then it comes to Sebastian Robinson, and he's got a big grin on his face as he converts on the reverse layup. Yeah, he showed me a lot this year. This Robinson could finish strong around the basket, nice jump from the outside. And it was his first year playing really with the ball not in his hands, playing more of a shooting guard role for Roselle Catholic with Simeon Wiltshire on their team. Five-star point guard going to North Carolina, so. And he's cooking right now. Yeah, you see Robinson there. He has the handles. He's developed the shot. As there's a shot from Stokes. Side step three, no good. Into the corner, wide open. And the bucket for Dazier Haskins. Joiner, right down the lane, and he gets it to go over the front rim. A strong finish. 58-51, 10 seconds left. Jay Nelly Reyes kicks. There's Robinson on the reverse snow. Three seconds left. Up ahead for Joiner, and that's too late. But he couldn't get the dunk to drop anyway. So that does it for the first half here from the boys game in the New Jersey Basketball Coaches Association North-South All-Star Classic. We will step aside for 10 minutes for halftime and be back after this here on the NFHS Network. He's going to take it himself for a championship!
They snap this lead. They'll run a trick play. They'll throw it along. He catches it. They win. A trick play from St. Peter's Prep wins it in overtime. J.D. Farkas looking to work in. There's a stutter step. He lines up, and we're tied at three. Camacho with six. Armstrong the steal, all by himself. Take flight, Mark Armstrong. Oh, that's how the third quarter ends, with an exclamation point from the Villanova bound senior. Last minute of play here in the first period. Marauders walk in at the circle, they'll send one in, they score! Oliver Harag gets the Marauders on the board with 56 seconds left to play in the first period. Walk him here. Payoff pitch is smoked out to left. Rapinski gives Prep a 2-0 lead. He took the payoff pitch and belted it way out of here. The designated hitter stays hot for the Marauders and Prep's up by two. Thomason, handoff has room. He's got the first down. He stays on his feet. Thomason dies. Touchdown! First title since 2016. Phillips with numbers three on one. The finish and a four-point Pirate lead. Pitch is hit in the air, right field. Reed going back on it. He's still back. He's looking up and it one hops up against the wall. On his way to score his hard court. Heading to third is Sprock. He'll put the brakes on and scamper back to second base. There's a shot and a goal! Charles Giordano to put Seton Hall prep up two. And they're 537 oh, up by two. They have a two on one. The puck is jarred free. Mendoza scores! The puck was knocked free right to the stick of Rocco Mendoza. And it's 4 1 Pirates. Glover, one-on-one -on -one with the basket. Oh, Jaden Glover! With the windmill to send this place into a frenzy. And to the corner, Lawrence. No look pass, and Wilcher lays it in. Wilcher to the hole. Simeon Wilcher starting to heat up. He's got four points, and Roselle Catholic leads by 11. Watson to his brother, and Tariq is fouled and hits it. They'll go to the line for one. They'll pick it up, the clock will move. Lawrence with Adam Bonham, lost his foot and gets a shot up, and he gets it to go at the buzzer. Jamarcus Lawrence, a big first quarter for the Nebraska commit. person too. This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good.
You can see the future of the Duke and North Carolina rivalry on D1 Media Pro. There you see Hubert Davis, head coach of North Carolina, here to see Simeon Will. Looking live right there at a trio of Duke basketball coaches, John Shire, Nolan Smith, Emil Jefferson. On clock now at 12, kicks it in the corner, Lively for three, got it. Derek Lively, a corner three in an early third quarter. As he'll look to go off the dribble here, goes right around Lively, and he gets the roll. Inbounds to Wilcher. A step back, fade away, through contact. Simeon Wilcher. He's out for Mbako. He'll try one from beyond the arc. And Mackenzie Mbako is on fire to start this one. So the New Jersey Basketball Coaches Association Boys Basketball John Wooden Awards go to Nick Veer of Ramapo and Andrew Billadow of Manasquan. So congratulations to the both of them. Yeah, great season for Ramapo. They won, they won their group as well. And so did Manasquan. Yeah, Manasquan. Yeah, we, look, we, we cover all the teams that matter. Yeah. I see some college coaches out here. I think that's Felician coach down here. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah, some are definitely in the building here. Yeah, was, look, man, these guys, they may not have a home, but that, that may be short-lived. So Felician always recruiting local New Jersey talent. I, I used to call that uh, North, 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 North University. Nas Amos, uh, what's his name? D. N. A lot, a lot, a lot of North kids, a lot of local kids. Well, we'll we're set here for the start of the second half. It's the South in the gray. It's the North in the black, and it's a 58-51 lead Ooh. for the North, trying to go up top to start. And then it's Elijah Motley down the other end, and that's going to be a goaltend. And did, I, did I mention how beautiful that campus is at Felicia? Yeah. Great job. And the Wi-Fi is great, too. <laughs> that's, that's always a must. Nearly a turnover there for Jane Nelly Reyes. 
Jalen Robinson hounding him. Reyes gets it back and then throws it away. Tell you, South team's been picking up full court almost this entire game. And look, they had to freshen legs. That's a good strategy. Comes into Joe Ganton out of West Essex. A lot of Essex County players on this North team. He'll send it up ahead, trying to take it himself, and unable to do so was Jay Nelly Reyes. And then there's the follow for the South. It's Josh Ingram with the basket. Don't think we're going to see Devontae Hudson. Was injured on the 10-minute mark of that first half. He is back on the south bench, but he's got an ice pack around just below his knee. So you hope that he'll be all right, but would doubt if he's going to return here today. Akil Watson looking for space. He found it and converted. He just has a knack for finishing around the rim. Step back, three-pointer for Isaac Hester. How about the game he's having? Uh, he's lighting it up out here. Robinson trying to answer, no good. South looking to run. There's a bullet pass right at the feet of Reyes. Too hot to handle, and it goes out of bounds. Don't, don't expect these kids to be without a home too long. I, I know Felician's out here lurking. They're always looking for talent. A lot of undecided seniors here in this game. Some could be holding out for NIL money. Three-pointer left short. Here from Joe Ganton. Josh Ingram in transition. 2-1-1. Here's Watson. Oh, it got blocked. He got it right back, and he finished. Ingram trying to break up that lob that Watson and Tejada were trying to connect on, and instead, Watson got the dunk himself. Ingram a star for St. Joe's, short on the step back three. On the second chance, Isaac Hester continuing his strong performance. Joe Ganton not able to get it to go. Down the other end, a three-pointer. And that's Jack Orendak. And a timeout is called after the three-pointer. 17 minutes to go here in the second half. Three-point lead for the North. Thomason, handoff has room. He's got the first down. He stays on his feet. Tomasin dies. Touchdown. First title since 2016. Phillips with numbers three on one. The finish and a four-point Pirate lead. Pitch is hit in the air right. Seventeen minutes left to play here in the second half. Three-point lead for Team North. Motley nearly traveled with that one. Bullet pass. The flex down low, and the South comes away with things. Hester, no good. Probably missed one. Numbers for the North. Motley, Ganton, wide open, and a layup. Ingram in the corner. Three ball spun out on him. Two on one. Robinson taking himself. Slipped underneath the basket. Missed the shot. Three pointer no good. And then unable to be saved on the rebound. 
by Summers. And then it's Throw it away. thrown out of bounds. Motley not able to reel it in. Oh, nice spin move there right into the lane all the way to the basket for J. Nelly Reyes at of Egg Harbor Township. Tejada to Motley. The three is too strong. I will say we, we will not be going to Egg Harbor. That's, that's Matt Alma territory. Yeah, that's very far. Kate May, Kate May League. Kate May Atlantic. Stolen away. Uh -oh, Up ahead time. for Gantt. He's got to watch his back. He'll go to the basket and finish on a sidestep off the window. And now we'll get a chance. Substitutions here at the 15.07 mark. 15 minutes and 7 seconds left in our high school coverage for 2023. It's been a fun basketball season. Great basketball season. Coming to a close. Spring sports starting just about a two and a half weeks. And what I love is, you know, so especially during this playoffs, I got a chance to see a lot of teams I don't normally see. Uh, Eagle Academy, Newark Tech. So, you know, some teams really opened my eyes up, and, you know, they're going to put them on the calendar next year. Numbers down the other end. And there's a finish, and it's a one-point game. I'll tell you what, though, both these coaches, <laughs> coaching like this is a championship game here. That's, that's just a winner mentality, man. Darius Phillips is first points. They probably only know how to coach one way, and that's the win. On the step back, the three-pointer from D.J. German. Deadlocked at 70, here with 14 minutes left to go. Sebastian Robinson breaks that tie. He's cold, he's a cold, cold shooter, man. Bridget, and a three-point shootout here in Somerset. Does Robinson have an answer? Balls for the screen. Phillip slips, got it knocked away out of bounds. Bryce Stokes trying to create some contact on that three-pointer. And a foul called on the floor. That shot will rattle in. These are Haskins. And the South feels like takes their first lead in quite a while. Now Sebastian Robinson leaves that one short. Up ahead for Herman. And he'll finish. Stokes driving, dumps it off for Robinson. He got blocked at the rim. And on the other end, they'll lob it up, and it goes right through the hands of Haskins. Numbers for the North, and it's a transition three from Ray Zamloot. Back down on the drive, over Phillips, and the bounce for Haskins. Four 
Four-point game, 12 minutes to play. Darius Phillips dribbles that ball out of bounds. They'll say it was last touch, though, by Haskins as he tried to split two defenders. Yeah, rest bailed him out on that one. I like to see Phillips attack the rim, not necessarily watch him dribble the ball. They clean up the wet spot. Here's, here comes someone with towels. That's Heistown head coach Don DeLeo, who's coaching the South team here today. Uh, they said they don't need it. Big good. The life of a referee, I tell you. Sebastian Robinson on the back down, the fadeaway way too strong. Oh, the blow by and the stuff, Dazir Haskins. That's going on the ground. Oh, the Camden senior showing out as Stokes is fouled down the other end. This is actually the closest we can, came to a uh, Camden versus RC. Yeah, you got two RC players, two Camden players. They played twice last year, didn't play this year. Stokes one for two. Yeah, they heard they couldn't negotiate ticket sales and streaming rights, and it was a whole bunch of goofiness. High arcing three-pointer too strong. Out up ahead, there's Donovan McCoy. And he's fouled. Man, McCoy was gliding through the air on that one. But he got fouled from behind. So it was Caleb Mundell who was trying to chase him down. Yeah, de definitely been an interesting year for high school basketball. A lot of uh, nuances. Well, if you remember, our RC and Camden played on ESPNU, opened up the season last year. And then obviously in the TOC, played on NJ.com. Long two, short. Zamlut saves it on the baseline. Darius Phillips showing off the moves. He got it blocked on the way up. In transition, another three-pointer, too strong. Long rebound to Zamlut. Phillips down low, and he'll just lay it in this time. Zamlut out of call well. They, did, didn't they win their group as well? They did. They ended up losing in the... Uh, well, they won their section. They won their section. They lost in the group to Manasquan. To the squad. McCoy, three, no. Phillips on the offensive glass. Oh, Darius Phillips finally getting a dunk to drop. Struggling, trying to drop one in in the first half, and that one got a friendly bounce off the back rim as we'll get one of our final substitutions here in this second half with 10 minutes to go. Yeah, if Phillips would have played when I played, he'd be doing a lot of push-ups. Coach did not take Conley to missing dunks. There's a three-pointer, and the South continuing to find answers, and a timeout is called by the North, who trail by three. 
with 9.56 to play here in the second half. We'll take another break. Three-point lead for Team South. This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good. Under 10 left here in the second half. It's a three-point lead for the South. Tyler Tejada on the drive. Kick to Elijah Motley. Kill Watson finds Tejada. His three-pointer no good. Nothing doing on that offensive possession for the North. As the South in transition, no. Tejada breaks it up. The ball bounces right back to Summers. Mismatch down to the paint. Good hands from Motley for the steal. Akil Watson had it poked away from behind. Right to Joyner. Gives it back to Watson, who missed in close. Summers right down the lane, the drop off and the block by Watson saves it right back into the hands of Mathler, but he can't get the bucket. Offense st stalling out here over the past couple of possessions. Kill Watson, tough three-pointer, no good. I was hoping to get to that 100-point mark. I was still might get there, 85-82, eight and a half to go. In the corner, there's a three, that's no good. Motley, up ahead, Watson, down the lane, count it, and a chance for three. Through the contact. Well, Akil Watson from Roselle Catholic, going to Arizona State, and he's got a chance for three. Arizona State, that's Pac-10, Pac-12. Pac-12. For now, anyway. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. For now. <laughs> Changing landscape of college athletics and conference alignment. Spencer Joyner comes away with the steal. He'll give it to Watson and his reverse layup. Into the lane. High arcing shot. No. Bit of a hesitation, and then it's the Army man. Mathler with the finish. Going to West Point next year. Oh, wow. Joiner rejected by Mathler. Stay right here with the North. Tejada driving in another rejection. But the ball this time comes to Ganton. He can't get it to go, and we're going back to the south. 721 remaining. Stester Mathler coming up big down low for the south. Probably about two minutes left for these group of players to be out on the floor before they substitute for the final five. Nearly came away with the steal. Instead, it's a three from Summers. That's no good. Ingram tries it in the corner. Another chance here for the South as the ball's batted around down low. Motley comes up with it. Up ahead, they'll drop it off for Tejada. And a nice finish. 
Two point lead for the North. And there's oh. a rejection from Tejada. Ganton calling for it. He's left alone, his three pointer. And the North fired up as they're back in front by five. Timeout South. North, 6.29 north, north, to go. North, 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 north. What a sequence there for the North. Tyler Tejada on both ends. And then Joe Ganton from West Essex High School with the three. So we'll step aside. A timeout on the floor. 92 87. North in front. Back after the timeout, six and a half to go. Good pass. Down low, Motley got his hands on it. Now he's looking to run. South made subs, North keeping these five out there on the floor. But there's a steal for Reyes and it's stolen right back. Ganton, looking to find somebody, able to get it to Joyner. Motley, Tejada, one dribble and a layup. Step back, corner, no good. Batted around, there's a straight on three, and South's gone cold. Three on two, Spencer Joyner drops it off for Tyler Tejada. Headbanger. How about that from Tyler Tejada? Shot no good. South looking for something, a drop. That'll help. Three-pointer from Jay Nelly Reyes. And the North will make a substitution here with 5.18 to play. But how about that sequence from those five on the floor for Team North? Yeah, they came back North with the six-point lead. And we have 5.18 remaining in our 2023 coverage of high school basketball in New Jersey. Donovan McCoy is stripped out of bounds. It'll stay with the North. So it's McCoy, Zamlut, Jalen Robinson, Sebastian Robinson, and Bryce Stokes on the floor for the North. You still got teams playing around the country, so Kev, you always be ready. You never know when we may get a call. Oh, I'm ready. Trust me. Believe me on that. I am ready. Reyes in the corner, trying to go back-to-back -back threes. No. An offensive rebound. Nobody around him, and Haskins finishes. A couple of big dunks from... Azir Haskins, Tyler Tejada here in this game. Four-point game. Crunch time now. Going to see the defense maybe pick up just a little bit as that ball stripped out of bounds off the leg of Ray Zamlut. First layup, no. Sebastian Robinson looking to run. There's Donovan McCoy, and he misses oh. on the front rim. Denied by the rim. Now down the other way. Will not be denied is Desir Haskins. Haskins shows you how it's done. I mean, the amount of dunks missed in this game from the North team is kind of startling. But that three-pointer from Jalen Robinson is certainly not. I think there needs to be a 100 push-up penalty around the state of New Jersey for anyone that misses a dunk. Oh, Haskins fouled on his way to the basket. And we one point away from free tacos. So we get lucky. We had double tacos in the first game, and we one point away right now. Misses on the free throw. Oh for 2 from the line. There's Jalen Robinson, lost the handle. 
Still a five-point game with under four minutes to play. Haskins kicks it out. Sounds gone cold over the last couple of minutes. Almost nearly a travel. Floater no good. But they're living on the offensive glass. And that time it's Jay Nelly Reyes. Getting it off the glass. Eating off the glass. Darius Phillips, Tyler Tejada. Going to check back in at the next chance for the North as Ray Zam Lute hits the three. Caldwell High School. Shout out to Dan Romano, AD. Spinning into the lane. Nice answer from Herman. 102-98. Sebastian Robinson from the free throw line. That ball stolen away by Stokes. Up ahead, Sam Loot. He's got McCoy running with him. He takes the three. Can't get it, and then McCoy knocks it out of bounds. So we'll get Tejada and Phillips back in for the north. Antoine Bridget and Cornelius Robinson back in for the south. Well, we have a second. Want to give a special thanks to the New Jersey Basketball Coaches Association for asking us to live stream these two girls and boys, North vs. South All-Star Games. It's been our pleasure to be here at Rutgers Prep on this Sunday afternoon. Straight on three-pointer off the mark. Jalen Robinson, the rebound underneath. Robinson spinning, kicking to Hada in the corner for three, no. Haskins up ahead, the Camden connection to Robinson. He'll step back over Phillips with the three. One point game, two minutes to play. Big basket for Robinson. Better late than never. Darius Phillips. On the baseline, back out for Sebastian Robinson. Ben Howden in the backcourt. Phillips on the drive, Tejada in the corner. He'll find space and he gets it to go over the front rim. 90 seconds, three point game, 104-101, North on top. Bridget on the step back. For the tie, no. McCoy the rebound. Up ahead to Hada. He's got a lane, and he'll lay it in. Pushes the lean to five for the North with 65 seconds to play. They did a good job of living up to the girls game. Yeah, they certainly have. Both these games have been outstanding. Hesitation. Oh, that's oh. a big chance for three at the line for Jay Nelly Reyes. The hoop and the horn. He's got a chance to make it a two-point game with 55.4 on the clock. DJ Herman will come back in. Akil Watson as well for the North. One oh four, one oh six, North on top, and the South calls a timeout. Yeah, they hate when you elevate. The second of losses, I'm handing them out. Yeah, I had to go delegate. They feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment. I swear I could levitate. They never believed that I would really fly. I had to go demonstrate. I had to set them straight. They hate when you elevate.
55.4 on the clock, 106-104. The North's in front. Two-point game, so all buckets matter right now. South picking up full court like they have for a large part of the game, and they come away with a steal. Right down the lane, and the game's tied from Jay Nelly Reyes. 106 all. Sebastian Robinson into the front court, dumps it off. Darius Phillips missed the layup. He had it in his fingertips. It's thrown into the backcourt. Akil Watson comes up with it. Numbers for the North. Akil Watson down the lane, no good, and a foul is called. And this gym erupts like it's a regular season game. Oh, it's getting intense in here, man. It's bragging rights, north versus south. Akil Watson gonna go to the line to shoot free throws. All tied up at 106. And he misses the first free throw. Donovan McCoy in for Darius Phillips. The pressure may be getting to Watson. Well, to put the North back on top. He does. 107-106. What else would you expect at a basketball game in March? Coming right down to the wire. Yeah, no TLC, no problem. Too much of a dribble and Watson the steal. Under 20 seconds left. Tyler Tejada will take it himself, but missed. Ball batted around. Who comes away with it? Out of bounds. It goes to the North with eight seconds left. South needs a steal. Inbounds to the backcourt. No one's on Tejada. He'll dribble it out back there and get fouled, but that's only the fifth team foul on the South. Five seconds remaining. Maybe Five too little, point too two late. left. The North to inbound on the far sideline. Still two fouls to give for the South. They need a steal. They get it to Sebastian Robinson, and a foul now with 4.3. Uh, one more foul to give him a bonus. In for Tejada. Clock running. Three seconds even left. And Tejada will shoot a one and one. So no matter what happens here, it'll still be a one possession game. Tyler Tejada at the line, and he gets the roll on the first free throw. Kid is clutch. Isaac Hester back in for the south. Definitely want to keep the ball out of his hands. Three seconds, enough time to dribble down and get a good shot off. Tejada to make it a three-point game. He does. So the best the South can do is come up with a tie here in regulation. They'll call timeout and draw up a play. 109-106. Three seconds left here in the second half. And what has been a thrilling New Jersey Basketball Coaches Association North versus South All-Star game. Girls game went right down to the wire. That started at noon. Boys game doing the same here today. Can the South? I don't know. Is there an overtime? Uh, maybe. Got to be overtime. Is there an overtime in this All-Star game? or They're going to end it in a tie? Yeah, would they end it in a tie? I don't know. I guess we'll find out if they make a three. Maybe it'll be like a, a free throw shootout. Like in hockey, how they have a penalty shootout? Yeah. Maybe maybe they'll have like a, a three-point contest, a three-point shootout or a free throw shootout if it goes to overtime. They I don't could know. just go rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, they could do that too. So North 109, South 106. It's Akil Watson, Jalen Robinson, Sebastian Robinson, Donovan McCoy, and Tyler Tejada on the floor for the North. It's Isaac Hester, Cornelius Robinson, Desir Haskins, DJ Herman on the floor for the South. And Jay Nelly Reyes 
The inbounds from the backcourt. Comes up to half court. Up ahead for the tie. Just off the mark from Cornelius Robinson. And this game goes final. Thrilling right down to the very seconds here in the MJBCA North-South All-Star Game. It's the North with a 109-106 victory over the South. Mustafa always great being here at these All-Star Games, and these two games were competitive from start to finish. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, worth me getting up this morning, coming out to Rutgers Prep. And thank you to Rutgers Prep and their IT department. You guys are the real MVPs. Absolutely. Special thank you to Rutgers Prep. Special thanks to the New Jersey Basketball Coaches Association. That's going to do it for us here from Somerset. For Mustafa Hoot and I'm Kevin Connolly. Thanks for tuning in to the Girls and Boys New Jersey Basketball Coaches Association North vs. South All-Star Game. That does it for us here in New Jersey for the 2023 basketball season. Make sure to stay tuned in a couple weeks as we kick off our spring sports high school seasons right here on D1 Media Pro. He's going to take it himself for a championship. Oh. Oh, another one wins it. The Turn it to the end zone. What a catch. The cut. It's over.